I realize I kind of overused the pull the title card back up and stare at it in confusion bit, but I think in this case it's wholly justified. Yeah, I can come up with about 11,000 disturbing mental scenarios, most of which involve the protagonist of beyond good and evil and pointy objects. So we'll move beyond that into the Tudis Cat Girl Panty Shots. Yep, it's another Dojin Bullet Hell shooter, which means there's plenty of time for dialogue and setting the stage, telling the story of... Well, it's not so much about humans and vampires fighting for control of the city this time, it's about an intramural tournament to the death at a girls' school for witches and summoners, and yes, indeed, cat girls. And because it's an Exceed game, there's probably going to be a sudden musical cut before the person you're talking to engages in hardcore bullet hell combat with you. Am I wrong? Nope, called it. And sure, the bullets might be different colors, and the previous game in this series might have been Ikaruga by any other name, but don't be mistaken. This is more of a medals everywhere style bullet hell, the kind you'd see in KOF Sky Stage of the Life. Also, for the first time since one particular girl in Exceed First, you've got options. Not, you know, option options, but many Tiamat satellite dragons that follow in your wake and can add to the chaos erupting all over the screen. They're adorable, they're resilient, and they can be recollected if and when you meet your untimely demise. The focus function from the first game returns for Exceed Third, um, Jade Penetrate Black Package, allowing you to cut your speed in half for tighter maneuvering through the massive ordnance headed your way at any time. This also has the added benefit of making your mini Tiamat Options satellite options focus fire on the nearest target. So the Exceed series comes to a close, what with its cute girls and insane bullet slaloming action and unspeakably badass soundtracks, especially as far as boss battles are concerned. And its sweet Altana is the music in this game, the series as a whole for the most part, awesome. If it turns out that the game itself is just a clever marketing tool for their own soundtracks, well, I'd be fine with that. You just might bilk me for some more cash there, then I can listen to this awesomeness next time I'm trying to saw through Ochiken no Hea DS4. Yes, that's a thing that exists, and it's currently in my desk. So get thyself to Steam and find thyself the Exceed Collection, and worry not about the panty shots and whatnot, because it's bullet hell that makes you want to run through a brick wall.